Hi, this is Cindy and Kathy. We're from Hometown Beverages, and you're watching Still Crazy After All These Beers. Still Crazy After All These Beers is brought to you by our friends at Chilled Nightlife and Entertainment Magazine. Eat, drink, and be merry at chilledmagazine.com. And by Porta Pong. The world's number one best selling inflatable floating beer pong table at portapong.com. Hey everyone, welcome to this week's edition of Still Crazy After All These Beers. I am in Harris Casino in Atlantic City. It's the opening of the Atlantic City Beer Festival. Doing something new this year, and it is a Friday night. It's a pre event. Have about 65, 70 beers here. It's almost like a people's choice judging. So we have home brewers, we have um, company reps, we have. The average citizen just coming in and enjoying some beers. And you know what? I gotta speak quickly because I gotta get this suit back by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Now I'm here with Ray Burrow from Hunterton. Is it Hunterton Brewing or Hunterton Distributing? It, it switches back and forth. We started out as Hunterton Brewing Company because they originally were a brewery. Um, uh, Dave and Shorty, the owners, quickly found out that um, there was no one distributing good craft beers. So they switched gears and uh, started a wholesaler and uh, kind of we, we uh, moved away from the brewing so much, but now we're a distributor of craft beers. Ray, I got to tell you something. I mean, you guys are known for your for bringing some great beers in New Jersey, but now you're getting some name recognition outside of New Jersey as well. Uh, where's that? I don't know. <laughs> right, where's that? Here I'm trying to make, you know what, come to think of it, no one even knows you in Jersey for that matter. No, yeah. you guys have done some events down in Washington, D.C., for example. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Saver oh, event. Saver. Yeah, Saver, yeah. Um, yeah, I started working for this company six years ago, and it was just amazing to see. Uh, I, I come from a retail background from a, a ShopRite liquor store, and uh, I actually had people coming into my store and asking uh, which products are from Hunterton, which I've never heard before. Like, no one has ever come in and asked uh, what the uh, uh, named a specific distributor, um, and it was the first time I heard it. And that when the, the job opportunity came about, uh, you know, it was definitely somewhere I wanted to go. I enjoyed the beers and uh, just had people talk about a wholesale like that it was amazing to me because I'd never heard it before. We did a show several weeks ago with the uh, introduction of Founders into New Jersey. Now, how did that come about? How do you go about getting a beer that's not normally distributed in the area? Do they contact you or do you go after them? It depends. Some of the breweries we get, they contact us. Some of them we definitely go after. Uh, Founders one of the ones that we went after. Um, Dave and Shorty, again, the owners of Hunter, and took us all, the whole sales staff, out to Michigan. And uh, we visited Grand Rapids and went to the brewery and uh, learned everything about it. Actually, it was on hold. Um, they were introduced last year at the beer festival. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, the beers weren't available in the state yet, so that table was huge, huge lines, and people were really excited about the beers coming here. They had Kentucky breakfast out, so uh, but yeah, we we pursued them. Same thing with Stone, um, definitely went after Stone brew, uh, Brewery. So it's you know it depends, depends on the brewery. Uh, every brewer we do take on though, we sit down as a company, as a group of salespeople, we taste the beers and uh, look at the packaging, look at the price, and then we decide. Uh, we just definitely don't just take anything in. Um, we kind of what I was going to ask you, whether there's ever been a company that you've turned down? Yes, there has. We don't want to mention who they I'm are. I'm not going to mention that. Tell, tell me off not, camera. <laughs> uh, that's what I was going to say. I'm not going to tell you who it was, but yes. But that's happened, though. Yeah, and it's, it's, not, it's not to say it's a bad beer, but uh, bad for what, it, what they were asking. We go by price, packaging, and, and absolute quality. Um, so if you have a beer that's 1099 and IPA, and the packaging's pretty good, but then we taste the beer and it doesn't equal up to a stone or a dogfish head. Uh, we don't feel that we can go out and try to tell the retailers to buy this product that um, doesn't equal up and it's the same price to, to a dogfish or a stone or things like that. Now, your, your boss is not far from us. I don't yes. think he can quite hear us, but he's going to be watching this later on. Uh, if you drank a beer that was not a Hunterton beer, would your uh, butt be on the line? No, not at all. We are, we are encouraged to drink everybody's beer. Um, to get out there and try everything that we can to know what people are putting out there. You know, that the wine, they say, what is it, a cellar palate? If you constantly drink your own wines that you produce, I don't want to drink everything that we sell because, you know, there's other breweries out there making good beers. Southern Tier is a phenomenal brewery. I love all their big bottles. I don't sell it, but I love to drink it. Victory's a good beer. Love the Hop Devil. Um, we just appreciate beer. We're, we're moving forward the craft beer segment as a whole 
of course we want to go with it, but <laughs> but uh, yeah, as long as it's good beer, then uh, we're allowed to drink it. And it's all in the name of research, right? It's all in the name of research, just like you said earlier. And you know what, with that, I think I need to do a little more research. How about you, Ray? Me too. Me too. I'm trying the uh, Andy Gators first time. It's I have not had that yet. Tell us about that Andy Gator real, real quick. I actually don't know much about it. Uh, it's the first big bot from the Big Bottle series from Abita. I've never seen their big bottles. Um, I do appreciate their uh, their Purple Haze and uh, turbo the dog. Turbo Dog. Um, they're def they're, those are definitely more mainstream beers. They go down much easier. But this is a this is a Hella Stoppelbach, which I, I never had, and it's it's fantastic. I, I'm really the ABV on that is any it's eight percent, eight percent. Yeah, so it's it's definitely a big beer. Yeah, and uh, no heat, it's perfect, great malt, it's a great beer. I gotta do some research, guys. We're gonna wrap it up. What do you think, Ray? Sounds good to me. Hope all you get right, Thanks for <laughs> thanks for coming on, and we'll see you next time on Still Crazy after all these beers. Enjoy. Show it's still crazy after all these beers. I just wanted to fill you guys in on how you can connect with us here at the show. One of the ways you can connect with us is to fan us on Facebook, where you can see exclusive behind the scenes pictures and videos that you can't get anywhere else. Another way you can connect with us is by going to twitter.com slash all these beers. Leave any questions, comments, or suggestions for our show. Send us a tweet. Hey there, beer lovers. Did you know you could also check us out on high definition at allthesebeers.com? Or if you're on the go and have an iPhone, see any episode by pulling out your phone and visiting allthesebeers.com.